Hi everyone, my name is Norman. I run the blog nimblenedles.com and today I want to show you how to knit the Kitchener stitch. The Kitchener stitch is an easy way to graft two knitted pieces together. The resulting seam is almost invisible. It is a very popular stitch for the toe of socks. All you need is a tapestry needle and some scissors and you are ready to go. So let's dive right into it. The first thing you need to know is the Kitchener stitch really only works on stocking knit stitch because you're essentially crafting knit stitches. If you have a project with purl stitches, you will need a different technique. I'll be showing you that in the next video. So make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. I'll be showing you the Kitchener stitch on a circular project, but you can use it to join two flat projects as well. The technique is exactly the same, but if you are having any problems, make sure to comment. First, you will need to redistribute your stitches um, onto two needles. I already did this here. If you are knitting with a magic loop technique, um, then you should already be set. I mean, you will have a cable here, but this won't uh, hinder you at all. The working yarn should be coming from the first stitch on the needle in the back. We will start the grafting from the right side, so push the stitches to the tips on the right side. There has to be an equal number of stitches on the front and on the back needle. If there aren't yet, you need to redistribute or decrease or bind off before you start because the Kitchener that stitch won't work otherwise. If you are knitting flat, then um, align the two pieces so the wrong sides face each other's and there's a knit side on each side. If you're knitting in the round like I do, then uh, this will be the default. Next, you need to cut the um, working yarn, leaving a tail that is at least three times as wide as the edge. Um, and then you need to uh, thread the yarn on a tapestry needle. Um, like so. I will be using a contrasting yarn for the rest of this tutorial so you can see the seam a little bit better. Now it's time for the preparation stitches. You will only have to do these two stitches once and uh, you start by putting the tapestry needle through the first stitch on the front needle as if to purl so from right to left like so. And then you pull the yarn through the first stitch on the back needle as if to knit, so from left to right. You have to take care that the yarn doesn't get trapped on top of the needles. It always needs to be below the needles, otherwise you will be creating extra stitches. So this was only the preparation. From here you'll start with the actual work. It will sound a bit complicated at first, but once you get the hang of this, uh, it will be super easy. Put the tapestry needle through the first stitch on the front needle, knitwise, so knitwise, and slip it off. And then put the needle through the next stitch, purlwise, purlwise, see, purlwise. And then put the needle through the first stitch on the back needle, purlwise as well, and slip it. Slip it. And then put the needle through the next stitch, knitwise, and keep it on the needle. Like so. After each step, you want to tighten up slightly. But you don't want to pull too hard because you want to emulate knit stitches and not tie knots. Let's do it one more time. Knit. Knit. Oops. And slip. Purl. And keep. Sorry. Purl and keep. 
and then curl and slip. on a little bit of cardboard you could even put it into your project bag for future project i find this kind of handy once you have finished crafting the two pieces together it's time to look at the results it may look a bit wonky yet but um that's no problem at all if the stitches are too loose yet you have to, to tighten them up with your tapestry needle. So what you have to do is you have to go into each individual stitch and tighten it up. And that was the very reason why I said don't pull too tight because it's quite easy to tighten it up later on. But it's much, much harder to loosen them up again so definitely don't pull too tight once you get the hang of this you will know how um, tight you need to pull so um, there's a lot less um, tidying up later on but for your first try don't go too um, tight because this will be much harder So this is how it should look like now. Um, don't tighten up too much because otherwise you will create a visible seam. And once you're satisfied, you can simply um, pull the yarn uh, through to the other side, like so. Just like so. And weave in the tail on the other side and you will have the perfect invisible join. So that's it. That's how you knit the Kitchener stitch. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, consider subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss any new videos. Happy knitting!